Hello. Oh my goodness, it's showtime. It came up and I'm not ready. You should see my desk. This is yes. what we're going to be making today. Really, notice how this stays closed. How cool is that? But all we need is a little push and it mm. opens. We're going to make a bunch of these cards. It's, we're back for another really simple day. Magic. <laughs> I took a picture of my desk and I was going to post it and somehow it didn't go to my phone. So it's going to say, this is what it looks like five minutes before we go live. <laughs> but... <laughs> um, so I'm in a total mess here, and this might be I don't even have very room to disjointed. Set. No, you don't. So can you scooch in there a little bit? But we're going to get started and have fun anyway. So we're just so glad to have you guys here with us. Uh, our uh, host code, we'll start with that because I have one sentence. And someone sent me another sentence, and I can't find it. I printed it out. So please send it to me again. Um, wow. And, you know, and I just need to say something. Facebook keeps changing things. And I had more trouble. I actually had to call Holly and ask her how I'd get to my messages because now they're not there. So just know I struggle with tech. So don't ever feel bad if you send me a couple emails or you call me a few times. You know, it's all good. You're not bugging me. <laughs> I just, <laughs> it's just too just. I'm so glad you guys can laugh with us. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, and I was a little late in putting up what to play along, but it's super simple today. It, and you know, you can grab things. Some of you have this right in your craft room, so you can grab as you need, which is really perfect. Okay, so I have a little sentence here I'm going to say from Denise Brookins. Power walk 32 miles yelling KZ. I love that. Could you power walk? I'm good. No. Could you power walk no, with me? No, no but I power no, walk, not no. 32 miles. 3.2 miles. Um, but I love power walking. I love uh, speed walking. I'm going to work on I'm not a runner, but okay. I'm going to work on the KZ. Okay. There's got to be. <laughs> okay. There's, there's got to be words. You yeah. have fun with that. And the winner of our stamp, the Penguin Place, which was donated, sent to me by Wanda Cavanaugh. Thank you so much, Wanda. We all appreciate that. Is going to Martha McLean. M yeah, Martha McLean. So, Martha? Just message me your address and we'll pop it right in the mail. Tim can take that. So if we accidentally send it back to Wanda, we're sorry. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, Wanda, you have a special place in my heart. I won't mess that up because I'll, I'll just remember. Um, Wanda and Jean, shoot, sent me bunches of things. So we're just set for our drawings. But we are doing a little different drawing today. And I'll get to that um, in a minute. So I'd like to share cards, but I can't quite figure out where to put all my stuff. <laughs> this is pretty pathetic. Okay, we're going to make enough room and go down and see what we can do here. <laughs> see what a mess this is. Okay. Oh, I slid things off. So, okay, here we go. Um, Tim, we have some cards? Yes, we do. Okay. So, oh, this is for my mom. Love getting cards for my mom. And this is, and she's doing well. This is Sue Myers from Ohio. How pretty with warmest thoughts. Love that. And you can see how she's taken a, uh, you know, through an embossing machine and then sponged it and cut it out. Mm, that's, that's really pretty. pretty. Yep. Mama, love that. And then the flowers on top. That is gorgeous. Diane Andrade from California. Oh, okay. Stinking cute. <laughs> so I can say that is, oh, look. This is, that is so fun. Oh, that is adorable. This is the card. Do you remember we made these, Tim, yep, a couple of weeks ago? And it was really, he had, oh, um, over in the back porch stampers, you see so many ideas of what people are doing. That is absolutely that adorable. Is. And look what an easy card that is. Don't you just love some easy cards? Oh, my goodness. I Let's love that. Oh, that's actually. That is, the, actually, that's, that's, where that? that's where you put it. You put it under. Yeah, that's where you're right. Yeah, you put it under this part. I thought it was a sticky note. But, okay. it's, but it's you a, wouldn't put it out no. here because then you wouldn't see it. So these are perfect cards when you don't want to write a lot. That is so sweet. How fun is that? That goes with that. Oh, is that what you're saying? That Diane was not wanting to write a lot. So she oh, <laughs> No, what I'm saying it is such a great card kit. We're all loving it. Okay, Pat Nagy from Missouri. So how fun. Oh, she put a little pocket in her card. And I haven't read this, but she put a little pocket in there. Um, because she sent me something. And she, oh, how fun. Okay, I gotta, I gotta look at this better. I didn't hold things, you know. <laughs> Yeah, you don't Look have up to do one that is watercolored. So she's got a really fun background. And then over it, she's watercoloring. And I love how you can, how, you know, when you watercolor, 
it Ooh. mixes the background in and yet you still have that texture. Do you see how, you know, you've yep. got dots there, there you still do, but they're a little more muddied. Isn't that a cool look? So she sent that through a folder? Nope, nope, this is a watercolor paper. So yeah, you see but... it's a little rougher texture. Huh, and really? then this would be like um, splattered or inked wherever she did it. And then stamped to watercolor, love that. Absolutely now, fabulous if you did technique. That, sending it through a what do you call it? Folder. Folder. You yep. could do that too and then get you more know, texture. If there was, yeah. But you know, watercolor papers, that's what you're noticing. Watercolor paper has this texture. Do you see how it's mm -hmm. bumpy? Yeah. And so it grabs the watercolor. That is awesome. And I'll read it later. Take that. Tracy Jacobs. Oh, is this fun? Put out the other one like this. This is so fun. Oh, is Oh, guys, this is so fun. Okay, she's from Indiana. Um, oh, that is so cute. Matches Diane's. I love it. Look at this, you guys. <laughs> how similar and yet different and how fun you can make cards on a similar theme and they all just turn on different. So you can make a set of cards. You could make a, a, an adorable set of cards and have them each say something different. You know, this says, hello. This is, ah, oh, you're really the best. Those are both. And do you see how they're both done? Yeah. And they are both stinking cute. And this hippo has more suntan. Yes. I think, you know, <laughs> just a little bit. That is adorable. Okay. Someone wanted to ask a question about Pat Nagy's card again. Um, uh, yeah. This is the card design from a few weeks ago. To watercolor the geranium. What? Oh, she used watercolor paper. You can also try shimmery. You're just going to get different looks. Watercolor is the best one if you really want to load on water. Um, we'll do some more things if you guys are interested in watercolor because it was fun. We did that one thing a few weeks ago. We'll do that again. Okay, I think I'm mixing up the envelopes, but I'm passing that to you. And look at this cute, oh, this cute little card from Aileen Humphrey from Illinois, uh, Indiana, or oh Tennessee. Tennessee, it's hard to read on this. That is so fun. And she won one of the weekly challenges over in the back porch stampers. Uh, you get entered into a drawing just for sharing the, the card of the week. Whatever I teach today, people share their versions. And the idea is that we're all more creative together than we are separately. So everyone puts in their own ideas. You that know, is just, just like how simple it actually looks like a Hallmark card because of how. Except layered, but kind of that simple. It yeah. looks um, uh, like more of a business type. I mean, yeah. a very clean and simple card. Yep. Uh, you know, it. I often talk about how oversized cards kind of notice things, but so do smaller size cards. This is the size of our note cards and envelopes. So sometime soon I want to do a whole thing just with quick ideas for using those. It, this is the smallest size that can be mailed. And it's really inexpensive to get a set of 20 of these cards and envelopes. And is that a lovely card? Yep. I think that is an absolutely beautiful card. And then she, she, yep. she saved the inside for... Yep. Us to use it so later. cool. And Susie Brackman from Water from Minnesota. Oh, how cute. Look at this tea dye. Oh, mm -hmm. how cute is that? Mm -hmm. uh, and she's thanking me for her birthday card. How cute is that? Love that dye and mm -hmm. the things. Oh, yep. that is so fun. That Co is so cute. Coffee cup. Yep. Coffee, coffee and cup. friends. We we love coffee and friends. Oh, we love coffee. Now I have a gift I'm gonna share with you. This is a gift from Sandy Eby, and I, I alluded to this on Monday night. Um, so I have to tell you, do you remember, this was celebration paper back in January, and look at this amazing bag that she made. So there's a story that goes with this, but she also sent, Sandy is on my team, and she was coming to Minneapolis for a get together. And so she brought me these gifts when they were current. So we had a great laugh about this, but no, it's not so funny because her, her uh, car broke down and she never made, made it. it. So she finally made it to an event we did this weekend and she brought my gifts and she said, I'm sorry, now they're not in, um, they're, they're no longer current. And I said, but they are gorgeous. And that's why I just want to tell you, I'm going to show you all the things she gave me. And so this week's drawing, I happen to have another pack of this New Horizons paper that we see all over the place. This is the most incredible paper. And that's what she's used on these gifts. So this is going to be the drawing for this week. So, okay. Oh, Kathy's on here saying that she's gotten some thank you cards from people when she sent birthday cards. You know, in the backport stampers, one of the options, everything's optional is to send out birthday cards. And she's gotten some thank yous back too. How sweet is it when you get these unexpected cards? That 
overdoing sending a thank you card for a birthday card? No, it is building relationships. And then and it is caring. The original person <laughs> I know, I, would send a thank you card for the thank you could keep card. on going yeah, and kind of it's like a cook exchange, it's yeah. a card exchange. So I want to show you these gorgeous cards. Look yeah. how cool this is, and with these little elements here, pebbles. So show them little pebbles. So these are all from Sandy E B. So a huge shout out to her. How cute is that? Nice. The little trees. Nice. And look at that hole. Doing the picture. And I know a lot of you have the stamp set, so it's really fun to see that. And um, oh, Pat, you're you're in South Dakota with all the motorcyclists. Well, you have fun. Oh, look how cool Sturgis. this is with the layering. Nope. That uh, whatever that layering diorama, whatever they are, and the mountains. Ugh, these are all just gorgeous. And it's kind of like all these different seasons. We have the trees and the little stamp. So how awesome is this? Breathe, mm. relax, enjoy your day. I We've added that. this. And, you know, she's added the tree embossing thing. The forest. And then she also mm. had, had a tall, thin line card. But what we're not done. So at some point, I thought it was just amazing. Okay, those are amazing. So thank you, Sandy. And then look what else. So Whoa. those of you into home decor, the paper is doing the work. And then look at the things she's added. Is that just stunning and put in a frame? So a big shout out. She is Jack Pine Designs, Sandy Eby in Very Wisconsin. Nice. And so just know that this is what is going to be the, the drawing for this week because it just fits right in. So Thank that is you, fabulous. Sandy. Thank you so much. Um, next, do I have to go through? Oh, this you know, there are more things added to celebrate, and this is on my blog, or you can ask for that. Uh, and I'm using one of the free items in the card kits. So this is one of the three cards you get in the card kits if you place an order of $50 or more in my online store. I just think this is so fun. So, and I did a video showing how to put the three, the three cards three together. Yeah. Part, I wanted to say something. Oh, okay. Jack Pine is actually kind of known as being a little scruffier pine. Karen and I actually have a tree farm and it's, we planted well, we, yeah. thousands of um, nor Norway trees, yeah. pines, mm -hmm. but jack pines a lot of times grow kind of wild and they are, anyway, mm -hmm. it's kind of cool. Yeah, that it's, it's cool. It's I love jack, jack pine. pine. Love that. It's a great name. Um, so anyway, that is, for the card kits, you get three cards to put together and this is using one. So, I just wanted to point out too, these are using this die that you can also get for free with a hundred dollar order. So just uh, reminding you of that. It is gorgeous. Let's see. Could you show the bag again? Oh yeah. I'll show the bag again. You guys want to know how to make this? That is something we could do coming up if you're interested. So let me know. And then uh, last week we, we were doing pop-up cards like this, just these really fun, cute pop-up cards. And this is also the next All Good Cards Club. We take an idea, so we're taking basic pop-up cards, but doing all kinds of different things with them. So we'd love to have you join us, and we get you get the PDFs and the videos forever, for, forever. But we do three lives, and it's not this weekend, but the next. But it doesn't matter if you can't be there live. So I need, I need to apologize to Sandy. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sandy, I'm not, I'm not saying that you're cards are oh. scruffy. <laughs> They're not scruffy. But it's a great Northwoods all. name. It is. It's a so great Jack, Northwoods Jack name. Yes. We know we know Jack yeah. Ryan. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so well, I didn't take it that way. So if anyone good. else did, but okay, good. <laughs> yeah, I think that's pretty funny. You okay. Could've. Okay. So we are going to look at this basic card. We are ready. All right. Okay. Yes. Oh, Karen is saying that Cindy McDonald in the group sent her a sympathy card when she lost her horse and how appreciated she You guys, it, that is so wonderful. And um, I just want to take a moment to comment that, um, you know, I save so many letters that we get from you guys and we read your letters and we pray over you guys and stuff. And I've kept this, we don't respond back just because we're just inundated, but I just want you to know and most of you, we don't know, you know, if you're not on our customer lift list or my team, I don't know an email to send you a message to thank you for, but we really appreciate you sharing your life with us, your stories with us. I just wanted you to know that because um, it's just kind of, yeah, just know how, 
how um, we feel much we, we feel yeah, honored that you let us into your life and do that. So we just wanted you to know how much we care, and yeah. um, you know, and we had so we had this long conversation about whether we should try to try to start sending cards back, but we just can't feasibly do it in our life. But just know how much you mean to us and how much you letting us into your life matters. So just know that. So anyway, um, so what we're going to do one really simple. Now I put up on the thing, you just need one punch and I've used all these, all three of these on our cards today. And I know you can find more the postage stamp punch, you know, any punch I'm sure is going to work. I set out thinking I would do two or three just so I could show variety. Just, you know, it really, really does work. But I thought, is that just kind of fun? Um, so this first one, this is the, <laughs> oh, I just looked these up too. Uh, is this the lovely label punch? I might, I might get these wrong, but you guys will correct me. Oh, thanks you guys for the sweet words. I just, um, we really appreciate that. Okay, so we're gonna do one really basic using exactly what I told you to bring. Okay, so here is, our card sack is cut the long way. So it's four and a quarter by 11. She'll get two out of a sheet of paper, scored and folded in half. And then I am going to take my punch and I'm going to take it all the way in and right up kind of, kind of to the side. I can go in a little, but you see, I'm going to go all the way in. So it'll be straight and I'm going to just punch that. Ooh. And then I punched. And so I didn't add that because you'll have scrap white around. Then I also punched them on white. And the cool thing about this is I just need my, here we go. Oh, look, Tim, I brought in two because I was afraid I didn't know if I brought one in. Then I brought in another because oh, yeah. <laughs> I overplanned. You could double up. <laughs> I'm just going to put, oh, let's um, see. I didn't get that on very well. I am. And I'm going to put this, I'm going to try to get it right in there. But, you know, it's still just going to catch a little. So however it goes in, how cool is this? Do you see it'll Ooh. pop out? But it'll also I just get it uh, in there, and it'll just stay put. Did you press it down enough? I could pound on it. You could pound. <laughs> I'm not sure it needs it because it has these, you know. Okay. But if you want to take that away, and you know what I did? I did it again. Some of these I forgot to put my white. I, I so I put one of those out. If you want a white base card, now I could still write on here, so it's going to be okay. But I have this right here. That's for the inside. Or Moving forward, I'll try to remember. Could you make a, a one that 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 wide? And yeah, put, you could, and put, put your note underneath. in there. Yeah. yeah. Yep, we could do that. And then we just have our two pieces. And know that these are not um, these are not set in stone. You could vary these. So this one, this main one is one and three quarters by four and a quarter. I am layering that on one that's uh, two and an eighth or two and a quarter, somewhere in there. Oh, and see, it's going to be a little long at the end. Okay, and then I'm going to put this on. And you see, it's not quite even there. I'm just going to put it in my card cutter and trim off that edge. My card cutter. <laughs> my, my paper cutter. But yeah, for me, it is. <laughs> oh, you guys are writing such such wonderful things. So how fun. Huh. Tammy says she cuts out the punch name from the package and tapes it on the punch. That is a really good That's idea. A good idea. <laughs> but see, that would look totally fine. So Tim to the rescue. Yes. Okay, we'll put that yeah. in there. Okay, you can put there. I hope you didn't. Okay, there's this, your addition. It's full because now it's in hand. Well, it was supposed to go in here. So now we'll go in, into that and another yes. card that when I forget. Yeah. And then just going to add any gems that you want. Um, so let's put these aside and let's, I want you to keep a pack of the, the actual model ones. Because now we're going to look at doing some different things with this. And then we'll see how much time we have at the end. Okay. Oh, let's just go first to using a different punch. So this one's going to be done the very same way. Uh, I do have all the stamp sets here, if you're wondering. I brought them out. I didn't write them down. But <laughs> but if you are wondering, <laughs> um, and otherwise you guys can answer. Yes, these are simple and easy. I love what uh, uh, Gianna is saying. But they have that little wow factor. Yeah, they do. And I think those are my favorite kind of cards. I just okay, with love it. Three. Oh, now I want to switch. Three choices of punches, uh -huh. all of the card card things. This is about as messy as I've ever seen. I know, because there's just so many pieces to this. And um, I have 11 cards here. So, you know, I don't know when to stop. So this time I'm using 
this punch and someone's gonna have to remind me what that is. And, oh, and Kathy, I, I was gonna say, yeah, this is cool. She's saying layering that smaller piece of the masculine paper under the solid, and this isn't even solid. This is another from that DSP, but it could be solid. It looks like that. Reminds me of Holly and me sharing a card and offering a tip of how some of our favorite designer series paper, even a small piece. These are great scrap car cards. And I thought this owl just works. You know, it's totally out of, you know, it goes with the camping in the mm -hmm. woods. That's kind of far distance. You know, it's not to scale, but cards don't need to be. But this is definitely fits under scrap cards. You can just go in your scrap bins to find what you want for these. So very good point. And these can be narrower or wider, and we're going to look at other ways of altering them. Okay, so first we're going to use this punch. And then we're going to put this. I love this little, you are the coolest. I should show, I should show a couple of these stamp sets. Tim, you can talk about these stamp sets while I do this. Love this. This is where the owl's from. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. And that bear and the wolf. I love that stamp set. And this one is from All Bundled Up. How cute is that? That's where this little guy Very is. Very cute. And you're the coolest. This is really another fun stamp set. Okay, so I'm going to put these on. And are you going to put a white, white piece of paper on here? Oh, Tim. Yes, I am because you said that. That's a good idea. <laughs> I know. I just... I might have to go ahead and cut another one. You're my memory today. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to do the same thing. I remember you. So while I'm making these, you guys can grab. You have time to just grab what you need. This is not one where you have to have a lot of pieces cut. So you can just use your thing. And so now this punch is going to work this way. And again, I'm just going to put it where I can. And it's going to just pop like that. I, that is how good. cool. I just love that. I just love how it kind of closes. I like this color better. kind of accented it more. Mm -hmm. um, but that's where you do variations. So like I made two and I thought I tried one color. And I thought, no, I'll try the other. So it's just kind of fun to do more than just one when you do it. So how fun is that? And then let's look for the one. I'll find it in here using the other punch. We'll start that way. Okay, here's the one. Now using the other punch. Let's see if I remember this one. Oh, I do remember this one. But look at all of these work. So how cool is that? Okay, so on this one, mm -hmm, they all work. And I have this cut out, and I I don't see it. There's so some it, over here. Maybe not. Oh, so it's right here. Okay. It's it's just, see, I have stuff all over. It's on the bench between us. <laughs> so for here, oh, this was really good. Look at, I did this, Tim, but it doesn't. <laughs> I was doing this, all this this morning. Oh, too funny. Um, I, I didn't even realize, as in a rush, didn't realize I went off the edge. So I was just going to show how I stamped this. Well, this card will be completed later. How I stamped this. <laughs> And then I just put the image over it and added the words. So, so it would be really wonderful if it just worked, you know. So we're going to instead just pretend oh, just to make oh. sure <laughs> that I is not going to work. It even more. <laughs> that is not going to work. But that's okay. I just have to show how it works. And then I'll, I'll just remove it and put on the correct thing. What's really amazing is that I didn't see it. Usually I catch my mistakes. <laughs> Oh, Rhonda has a tip here for when you're trying to put a punch piece into where it fits, put your card basically inside out and put the piece for it over the tape and then fold it over. I have to read that a little more. I'm sure <laughs> I'm sure it's a great tip, but I can't, I don't think I can read and read and stamp, figure that out, but we appreciate tips. <laughs> and she also says one of the best parts of all, all of this is that we can laugh together and build community and have a wonderful time. You're right. This is not for taking ourselves seriously. Oh, <laughs> Okay, I really, really messed up this card. How, what do you feel about tone on tone, Tim? Do you really notice I like that? It. it looks fine, but you yes. know, it doesn't really stand out. <laughs> True. I, I guess I was in a rush at the end, but anyway, I want to show this. Okay, so for this punch, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to put it all the way in, basically up to the side. That's what's going to get it on straight. And then I'm going to pretend this is stamped. So I'm only going to put a couple on because I'm going to take these back off. And I'm just doing the same thing. I'm putting that in. Okay. And I just love that. That is so cool. And then it's, 
What oh, you? oh, Tim, this is pretty funny. Look at my card. <laughs> okay, there's not one thing about this card that worked. And I'm kind of thinking maybe I didn't grab the right pile. <laughs> How bad is that? Right. Is it, I see. Is it Rhonda it isn't that even had the an right idea? Side. Yes. Is it yeah. Rhonda that yeah. had an idea? Ron, do you have an idea for this? No, but maybe we should switch and use. <laughs> yeah. But do you see how it's not yeah. even scored right? <laughs> oh, yes. That okay. one needs a little surgery, heart surgery. Tim, Tim made this one. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, now we're going to do a few little different things here. Let's see what else we can do here. We're going to do them correctly. <laughs> okay, let's do this one. Now on this one, this is the... That butterfly paper? Seriously, we're going to do 12 of these? Yeah, we're not all. I, I, 11. I have them out. But we're going to do the ones that have little different um, tips and trips. Tip, tips and trips. Ticks. Okay, I used this side on here. This time I'm going to use this side because oh, yes. it's just kind of similar. So I almost put down, well, let's see. I used that one that up. was a shiny paper, though. I almost... Um, I don't, I don't even remember what I was going to say. Oh. Paper. oh, it's coming. Okay. So now we're looking differences. So when I put your supplies up, okay, I'm just having to figure out which punch. We're done with this punch. I'm going to have okay. to take that one off the table because um, it's better when these things fit in or I'm going to be really back to square one. <laughs> Rhonda says we could have a fun game show called uh, Save That Card. <laughs> that would be good. Yeah, that would be great. Okay, so I'm going to put this in. Now, when you're doing like the white parts that come in here, I did mine at the right time. And you want to make sure to first put it in here to remember which way. The first one I did, I just plain did it thinking this was all the same. And it wasn't. So then it wouldn't fit. My words were going sideways. So I'm not even showing you that mistake. But I'm just telling you that's a little tip. We like, so uh, this is not. Ooh. Okay. So this is not the same. It's not all you the can't. same all the way around. Now, I think what's perfect to use on these, this Ooh, is what this is. The these are these afterwards. colorful washi tape, little uh, glimmer washi tape things are mm. perfect for this. So it's not a piece of paper underneath that. No. That's what I thought it was. So what I was going to put on the supply list, I wasn't even going to put the background paper because, but then I thought then you'd want to think of something. So I did that, but you can do, do anything you want to add all these little things. And I absolutely love this. Now this card's going to need a little trim at the end and that's no problem. I can do that at the end because yes, I don't always cut perfectly, even if I try. And I think this is just really lovely. And again, just so easy and yet so stunning. And I like all the love. I think that's so fun. No, no, watch me, Tim. Yeah, it is right. <laughs> watch me. It won't be right <laughs> after doing all that. But this is another kind of card. You know, I love doing cards. I can do about 10 because then I have a head start and all the birthday cards to send out. Okay, I'm going to line it up. Line it up. And there it is. How cool. And it'll just pop right out. Yeah. I just think that is I so like that. fun. Okay, so next... Um, oh, let's do this one with washi tape. Okay, I think this here I did a couple layers of washi tape. And these are those fun little parakeet birds. So this time I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to, oh, I'm going to put my inside in. Is that a good idea, Tim? Good idea. I will do that first. Um, okay, and then I'm going to put this on. So this time I'm just, this paper is from the, the, the colors are all the same. This is from the, is this the, the teapot? Um, so, you know, any papers you have, again, like I said, the scrap box is just going to be perfect. But I thought, ooh, I like this uh, kind of colorful stripe. So I'm going to put that, I have to put just enough over so I can add the black glimmer tape but we are done you're gonna to to stay tuned because we're gonna still have more it's a bunch of tips and tricks today on things so 
You might think you've seen it all now because I've made <laughs> four cards or however many. She's got some tricks up her But we have more, more things to share. So I'm starting to get the feeling that that goes on the inside. Yeah, but this one I'm not going to put it oh, on. That not. just okay. seemed a little too blah. Okay. Now, actually, when I look at this, I'm thinking what I would maybe do, if I were doing more of these, I might make this a little narrower because it seems almost a little too wide in there. But that's what's fun about these cards. You make a few and then you just make adjustments. So I wanted to show what I did here. Okay, so I did, let's see, it's this one. So I'm going to do my punch. Now I'm expecting to see in the back porch stampers a bunch of different punches used. And you know, nothing you, you, you don't need to use stamping up things. You can have other punches. You know, circle punches are going to work. Just, um, it's just going to be fun to see variety. So I put this on first and I thought it just needed more black. Mm -hmm. And I was, it was putting so many black gems on things. And I thought, okay, so then I decided to do this. I just took my tape and put some right there and some, I just did it enough where it will kind of cover. And whoops. whoops. And then I put this. This is already sticky. If it's not sticky, you'd put a little glue dot or something on. So I'm going to just stick this on my paper so it has a little more hold there. Because otherwise, it, I'd have trouble getting into my punch. Thought, That's what you can always do. You can take a little uh, post it note or something if you need to punch something closer. I thought in. you were going to fussy cut. Well, you could do that too. This, would would this you like fussy cutting, no. Tim? Should I give it to you to fussy cut, no. or should I do this? Yeah. And then I'm just going to repunch it. That's right. So it's just kind of a That's fun little idea because then I just cutting. liked that we had black on the top in there. Oh, I like. It. So we'll put that one in. Oh, <laughs> so now I'm putting that on the mm. scrap paper. Don't need that. And Tim, I'm going to let you put this one in. <laughs> Let's see how you do there with putting that in. Um, and then one of my favorite cards. Always working on that. Oh, I think you got it. So it's not cool. So what do you think? Does it need the green? Perfect. Looks great. I actually do kind of like the green on there too. I don't have that out. But the green, it's green, orange, and this. So I'm going to show you. Here's a like a valentine's card and we're not doing this one but oh i did black on here but they also have orange but here i did two rows because i wanted more here instead of on either side look at that mm -hmm. cute little boo thing yeah with no inside mm -hmm. that's where your other half is going to go you know that other half sheet mm -hmm. um but yeah i might add i kind of like that or some words now in this next card <laughs> um Oh, I don't, I don't think I'm showing a Christmas card today, but boy, these would work for Christmas cards. So, you know, it all, these would be, and they're, they're perfect again, when you don't have lots to write. So on this one, I actually added uh, words across. So any of them could do that. If they look a little plain, I wasn't sure what to do, but I used that glimmer paper. And then, so all of this is glimmer, but I thought that was just really fun. And this is from the Heron Habitat. Love. You know, what's kind of fun this week is I picked out, okay, so this was the pretty birds we just used. The heron habitat uh, disappeared on me here. It's probably still out on the table somewhere, but I end up not getting to use my stamp sets as much as I would like to just because I'm always creating like tons of other things. So this was kind of fun to take this chance to use all these little die cuts and put little images. So I kind of went through my stamp sets and just tried to decide what would I like to do. But even using just uh, designer series paper. I'll go out in the other room and I'll, I'll look. For oh. <laughs> oh, I need it for the sharing this card when I'm going to do. So <laughs> look at how cute this is. So you can see I took that happy Tim birthday. Tim to the rescue. Tim to the rescue. What would I do without you? <laughs> but I thought this is really a beautiful stamp set. So I just kind of looked for both images that would fit because you can see I'm more focused on stamping today, but um, papers would also work for this. So take your ideas. Uh, so let's see. On this, I just wanted to point out the difference between markers and, you know, when I showed a watercolor thing a few weeks ago, and again, we had a lot of beautiful samples, but I was not clear enough on saying we were using the stamp and write markers. This is what you want to use when you're going to color on your stamps 
or on your blocks because these are permanent. These are the blends and they're permanent. And what's interesting about this is I use both, but um, in case anyone on here has not, and I'll just, you know what, I'm gonna use this little scrap paper. Are those the colors? Those are the colors. Those are the colors. So Tim is the... Um, the resource man. Yes. <laughs> So I'm going to, so it is the Stampin' and Write markers. Now you can also use Crayolas, anything. You can have your kids use whatever you have. You know, of course, what's nice about the Stampin' Up! ones is that they're a top quality and they match all the colors, but you know, use anything. It's kind of, um, but, but you don't want to use the blend. So I love using these probably more for techniques and for doing things like this more than anything. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to, I'm going to blow on it and that, kind of reactivates the color. Oh, well, mine's going a little. My bird will be a little crooked there. But do you see how that makes the image? So that is how this is made. Mm. Now, where's the other one floating around that you oh, looked so one. patiently for, the one that's colored like this but not finished? Mm. <laughs> uh, well, so this was stamped and colored. Then I went to the blends. Now this is the permanent. So I wanted to show this because I'm using both on this project. Um, and we did see it, it was on here earlier. So it's just disappeared, but that's okay. It'll show up. No, the reason we're gonna use blends on this part is because they all they blend together and they don't leave all those marks. So if you notice when you use markers like this, like if I were gonna try to do that, let's say I was gonna try to do this one and I'm just gonna color. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get streaks and lines and it's gonna be dark. You know, you just have a lot of control. This is going to blend off, blend out and be softer. But I wanted to explain the difference between the two coloring things. So this is what I love to color with. I love the blends because you feel like an artist and you can just blend and do all these things. This is for all the other techniques and this kind of thing. So I just wanted to make that point. So that is so wonderful. Um, Okay, yeah, Tim is on the ball today. That's right, he is. I said that's so great. Well, so thank you. I just um, need the, okay. And then I'll make another one here. And you know what? At the end, I will stay on if you have questions because I don't always see them scrolling through. So at the end, I won't jump right off. So if you have questions, just hang around and ask me again then and we'll take time and do that. Okay, so here's the last one. Oh, here is a Christmas card. Well, well, it could be joyful wishes, but you see how anything, this could be the, a poinsettia. This could be anything in here and then Christmas paper. I just think this is so lovely. And this one, I, uh, okay, I'll just have to find the, the, okay. So on this, what I wanted to show about this one was a reminder about how we attach a vellum. So everything about this is going to be the same, but this is how we're going to attach vellum. Now I attach this vellum directly to my balmy blue. So I thought today we'd attach it to white first, just to mm. see the difference because you get two different looks. And isn't that interesting? I cut this at four inches instead of four and a quarter. The others have all been at four and a quarter. So they've gone the whole length, but it doesn't matter. This is going to look just fine too. So there is so much room for a variation. So, well, Jean, I'm glad you're on here live today. So she barely ever makes it live. But uh, yes, uh, Gail, Gail put it well about the blends. You can't see where you stop and start with the blends. Yes. So if I'm coloring with markers, I actually like coloring with the subtles, but I don't like coloring with the other colors because you see way too many lines. So that's the little thing. So in other words, you need both. I mean, why not? <laughs> But anyway, so this is a little reminder uh, in case you haven't seen this. And then I have a few more that I will just show. So this is where I use a silicone mat. And I'm going to put some multipurpose glue right in the corner. I'm going to take a little sponge. And I'm going to, and I would do this on, this is the flocked vellum. I do the same with the in this snowflake paper, there's um, anything you don't want to see. The other one, it's not flocked, but it is something else. But it's going to work the same. So now when you put this on the white, and Tim, you may pound that. 
I'm going to put that aside. Look at that. You do not see any, you see a little bit of white here, but I'm not going to worry about it because, I, I, you know, the black will be next to it. I would just trim that um, otherwise, but look how cool that is because you do not see any lines. And I just think it's interesting that one is much brighter than the other. I need the other, okay, I need this punch. Okay, I guess I do need to finish this so we can really see the difference. So we'll put that one in. Uh, and I was just realizing it's gonna be a little trick to do the black tape because I can't go to the edge of my card. So we'll see how we do here. And then I'm gonna put that in. Okay, very cool. So you can see this one is much starker. I just want to pop, okay. It's just, um, so now I have my black and I'm going to see, I'm going to cut a sharp end off. It's good to see, I can't just cut it at the end here. So I'm going to go this way and I'm gonna do the best I can. Sometimes good enough is good enough. Okay. Um, like it. So which do you prefer, seeing the blue through or just the stark white? But isn't it know. interesting that there are just two different ways of doing that, yeah. putting this on a silver or something else. So just experiment with all your colors. This is really pretty on Fresh Freesia. So you could do this whole same card on Fresh Freesia. And, um, so do you have a preference? No, I kind of think looking right here, I kind of like this. Yes, and back to this, like Kathy Murphy was saying too, the best part of these is like you can color on your stamps. Like if on this, if we go back to this stamp right here, if I didn't have my markers, it would all be one image. So my path and the grass would all be the same color. That is the fun thing about having this. And so if you have a flower, you can do the flowers, the stems, you can make them all different. So it's just another option. Um Okay, so let's show a couple more here. Okay, okay, I love this one. Wishing you the best birthday ever. This is the texture chic and the stamp set that goes with that. And I just love it. And you can see I just overlaid, I just put the words on in black and then I just overlaid some of the shells and the other just from the colors out of the texture chic. And I, I think that's mm -hmm. a really gorgeous card. It's very classy. And, um, you know, and if you guys like creating together, do think about the All Good Cards Club. It's not this weekend, but it's next weekend. So it's coming up. So we'd love to have you. And then here's a, just a simple fall one, little thank you card. So grateful with the fall things. Mm -hmm. And I think this one, I, I love this one because I love, this is the, the gnome set. <laughs> I love this guy. And you see? It's like him there, but he's just Ooh. like, ah, uh, duh, you know, and then I love in the inside, you know me so well. And I think what a great apology card. Is that ever? I just think that is just, just so cute. Like, I'm so sorry I forgot something. And you, you know, know me. me so well. I think that is just but great that fun. Is, it is the same image. Yes. So, yeah, it is. So these are all the cards you made. I love hearing what they are. And I, right after this, I go put up in the back porch stampers. We didn't make that one. but No, but I didn't make a few of these, but a lot of them we did. So we want to see what punches you use, anything else, anything else you use. And if you have any questions, now's a good time to ask because um, Tim, I'm just going to tell you to talk and I'll just read and see if there's anything there. Marie says that she loves it. We have a business that we enjoy together and she loves us. Thanks. Oh, we love doing this. I, yeah, we're great. And you know, we're going to be, we're going to be going to Indianapolis. And you know what? I know I have a few customers in that area. If you're one of my customers, reach out to me because we're doing a road trip. We would love to, or if you're on the way, we would love to stop and see you. Um, and um, yeah, anyone else? And then we'll be meeting a bunch of our followers there at the uh, thing. That will be really fun too. We're going a day and a half early so we can just hang out down line and get to know them better and have a chance to just relax and be together. So if you're at all in the area, let me know.
Oh, yeah, it's kind of, you know, must be how my day is going. But thanks. <laughs> that was really now, an abrupt end. So all of you people on the way, let us know. But yes. Okay, Karen says, I'm going to stay around to answer questions. And then she just <laughs> and then she leaves. discontent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so such good timing. Anything else? Kathy's saying she likes how many cards you can get out of a 12 by 12 design a series paper. Yes, I think the pattern papers are such a great buy because, you know, we make them go so far in all these different folds. So much of what I do on Thursdays centers around using the papers because they give you head start. They also tell you what colors to start with. So it just helps to bring that out. I think it's great how many cards you can make in 45 minutes. And you think like Myrna, because she's just saying she loves seeing all the different cards all made mm -hmm. with one idea. I yeah. thought, you know, that is really fun too. Um, so very fun. Okay. I'm not seeing any questions, but thanks well, guys. And just wait. And I thought you were saying you're going to hang around. Oh yeah. For the next half hour, I'll finish these cards. <laughs> okay. Just wait. Does anyone have questions for Karen? Cause you, she'll hang around. Or do you have questions for Tim? Yeah. <laughs> that, might, that might be the bigger draw, but, but uh, I'm, I'm around all weekend. So let me know if you <laughs> need anything. And thanks you guys for spending this time with us. <laughs> Bye. Goodbye.